yes ama oke okay, ma so so my dear students listen carefully now gl master data creation <laughs> example example are you able to hear my voice are you able to uh, see my screen yes no okay please confirm yes sir. yes sir. yes sir. Yes, everyone. So, guys, concentrate, everyone. Now, example, if I want to post, if I want to post GL invoice, I want to post GL invoice for commission. Okay. And I want to post GL payment. What is the accounting entry of GL invoice? What is the accounting entry of GL payment? Example, everyone, listen careful. If you want to post invoice, what is the accounting entry? Against of this invoice, if you want to post the payment, what is the accounting entry? Example, Sunday, ma'am joined. Huh? So, what is the accounting entry? Everyone, concentrate it, everyone. For example, if you post invoice, if you post invoice, GL invoice, whatever, okay? If you post invoice, GL invoice, or GL document. So what is the accounting entry? Expenses account data to payable. What is the accounting entry everyone? For expenses. For expenses, what is the accounting entry? Expenses account data to payable, any payable. For example, I am taking here, uh, Commission paid account data to commission payable. Payable expenses account data to payable. An example, uh, example 10,000 and 10,000. Example 10,000 and 10,000. And later, this is the process for expenses, okay? And later, we want to post payment. We want to post the payment. So what is the accounting entry for payment? Here, commission, payable, account data to cash everyone. Commission, payable, account data to cash. So here again, 10,000 and 10,000. So what is this? First one is called invoice posting. First one is called invoice posting. Second one is called payment posting. Everyone, same to same way for incoming. This is process for incoming. And what is the process for, I mean, this is the process for expenses. And what is the process for income? I will tell you. First, let's complete this. My dear students, concentrate it, everyone. My dear students, concentrate here. If you want to post these accounting entries, commission paid account data to commission payable, commission payable account data to cash. So commission payable is credit and uh, commission payable is debit. So debit and credit will become a zero. It will become nullified. Credit and debit, what happened? It's become nullified. It's become a zero. Then what is the final accounting entry? Final accounting entry is expenses account data to cash. Any expenses, commission paid account data to cash everyone. So if you want to post this accounting entry, if you want to post this accounting entry, First, you have to create the GL. First, you have to create the GL. 
then later you have to post the accounting entry. Any expenses, expenses account data to payable, payable account data to cash. So this payable is credit here, this payable is debit here. Credit debit going to nullified, it's become a zero. Final accounting entry is expenses account data to cash. Are you understood everyone? Understood? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if you want to post this accounting entry, if you want to post this accounting entry, first you have to create the GL. First you have to create the GL. Example, commission paid. Commission paid is expenses or income? Everyone? Expense. Expense. Expenses. So this expenses GL, where you are going to create, what is the T code? T code is called, where you are going to create? T code is called FS00. FS00. For expense, for expense, what is the number range we take in everyone? In the global parameters, what is the number range we taken? And uh, indirect expense or expense. Double four, double zero, double zero two, double four, double nine, double nine. This is the one. Okay. And uh, here the number will come. Example double four, double zero, double zero. The next one current, I mean, commission payable. Payable comes under. Payable comes under. Library. Liability. Current liability. Current liability. Current liability. So current liability, where you can create this GL everyone, where you are going to create this T code is called FS double G. FS double G. For example, for current liability, what is the number range? Current liability. What is the number range? Current liability. This one. Did you remember everyone? One six double zero double zero to one six double nine double nine. One six double zero double zero. We already created one uh, one accounting entry. One six double zero double zero. We created zero balance clearing account. Did you remember? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now we can take one six double zero zero one everyone for commission payable. Next number. Okay, I can take. Okay, I can take one six. Double zero zero one, everyone. So, my dear students, listen careful. Listen careful. Now, I want to create commission paid GL. How to create commission paid GL in SAP S4 HANA FICO? How to create this commission paid? How to create this commission payable? Okay, commission payable, expenses account data to payable, payable account data to cash, any expenses, not a matter. If you want to post this accounting entry, first you have to create the GLs, then later you have to post the accounting entry. So let's open SAP. Example, open SAP. And here... SAP logon. on. 
enter username and password. So everyone, what is the T code for creating the GL everyone? Tell me what is the T code for creating the GL? T code is called? FS00. FS00. Either you can use the T code, otherwise you can go through path everyone. SAP menu, accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, master records, GL accounts, individual processing, FS00. FS double zero. This is the process, everyone. SAP menu, accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, master record, GL account, individual processing, FS double zero. <coughs> FS double zero. So you just double click on FS double zero. And uh, here the company code. What is your company code? Company code is called example JJ double one this is my company code everyone and uh, what is the gl number gl number is i can take double four double zero double zero otherwise you can check your uh, what is the t code for accounts group ob t4 ob d4 here you can verify you created here uh jj cn what is that uh, jj oc something here you can verify what is the number range you've given and all? JJOC, I believe. If you come down here, you can observe everyone. What is the number range you've set up and all? Okay. For expenses, expenses, what is the number range? Double four, double zero, double zero two, double four, double nine, double nine. In between, you can take any number. What is the T code for creating accounts group? T code is called OBD4. Come to OBD4, you can analyze what accounts group you created. This is your chart of accounts. So that is the reason for expenses I can take double four, double zero, double zero, everyone. Double four, double zero, double zero. Pick the number. Double four, double zero, double zero. One second, everyone. One second, please. So everyone, are you there everyone? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, did you understood from where I taken this number? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. And company code JJ11. Click on here, create. So here accounts group. For example, expenses. You can take primary cost and revenue. So here some explanation is required everyone. What is mean by primary cost and revenue? What is mean by non-operating expenses and income? I will explain. First, initially you can take primary cost and revenue. It is a cost. Let's take the cost. And it is then expenses. I'm taking expenses. And here you can write the description. What is that expenses? Commission paid account. Commission paid account. Okay, everyone concentrate here. 
commission paid comes under expenses. Expenses comes under primary cost or revenue. And for this, this is the company code and this is the GL number. And click on your control tab, click on your control tab and come down, come down everyone, come down. Here you can take cost element category, primary cost. Cost element category, primary cost everyone. Then as usual, you can take short key 001, short key 001, where is that? Come down, your short key 001 and create bank interest app. Here, field status group, click on your browse. Here you can take expenses or cost accounts. You can take cost accounts everyone. In your system, you have to take G004, everyone. In your system, you have to take G004, okay? Select here G004, but in my system, somebody has deleted all the groups and all. We created own accounts. Anyway, you can take cost accounts, everyone. Here, you can take cost accounts, press enter and save. <sighs> everyone, concentrate here, my dear students. Listen careful. I'm repeating once again how to create this uh, uh, I mean commission paid here you can give the description a commission paid comes under expenses expenses you have to take primary cost or revenue and this is the company code and this is the GL number and click on your control tab click on your control tab short key you can take G 001 and uh, here come down you must take cost element category one. One means primary cost. And go to create bank interest app. Here you can take cost accounts. Here you can take cost accounts. And press enter and save. Understood everyone? <clears throat> yes or no? Yes sir. yes sir. One more GL you have to create. One more GL. Commission payable. Commission payable. So commission payable will going to nullified. It's become a zero. Here is debit and here is credit. Here is debit and here is credit. So let's do that everyone. Example I'm taking. If you click on your browse, if you click on your browse, press enter. Here 160000 already created for zero balance clearing account. Same current liability. So I can take one more GL. Take another. I can take one more GL. 160001. 160001. And company code JJ11. And click on here create. Click on here create. Now you can concentrate it everyone. And here you can take current liability comes under balance sheet current liability comes under balance sheet is this correct yes sir yes so here you can take current liability here current liabilities and here you can type commission payable payable account commission payable account my dear students concentrate here commission payable account Commission payable comes under current liability. Current liability comes under balance sheet. And uh, bal this balance sheet belongs to this company code. And this is the GL number. Listen careful, listen careful everyone. Commission payable comes under current liability. Current li this current liability comes under balance sheet. And this is the GL number. Sorry, this is the company code and this is the GL number. And click on your control tab. Click on your control tab. Concentrate here, everyone. Click on your control tab. Come down. You must click on open item management. Note it on one note, everyone, for your understanding purpose. Note it on one note. Here, my question is here, my question is. 
uh, for which GLs, which GL we want to click on open item management. For which GLs we don't want click on open item management. Do you got my question, everyone? Do you got my question? For which GLs we want to click on open item management. For which GL we don't want to click on open item management. Do you got my question? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes. Note it on one note, everyone. Note it on one note. Open item means outstanding amount. Open item means outstanding. <laughs> Open item means outstanding. If you want to click on open item management, if you want to click on open item management, that GL, that GL, must become a zero. That GL must become a zero. For example, everyone, concentrated everyone, here you can observe during the invoice posting, here commission payable is credit. During if you do the make the payment, here it will come debit. So credit and debit will go into nullified. Okay. If you want to click on open item management that gl must become zero so if if your credit and debit must become zero next line next line note it down this is the gl want to control outstanding amount this is the gl want to control outstanding amount Next one, that is the GL must comes under balance sheet, must comes under balance sheet. Everyone, listen careful, listen, I'm done, noted everyone, noted. Yes, sir. Listen careful, listen careful everyone. If you want to click on open item management, your GL must satisfy three qualities, everyone. Three qualities want to reflect. Quality number one, this is comes under balance sheet. Quality number two, this is want to control outstanding amount. Quality number three, it means it will become a zero. Credit side and debit side want to reflect. Credit side and the debit side want to reflect. Example noted down. Below example noted down. All payables and receivables. Example. Example noted down. All payable GLs and receivable GL. All payables GLs and receivable GLs comes under open item management. Comes under open item management.
comes under open item management. Everyone. Done? Noted everyone? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Only payables GLs and receivable GLs, you want to click on open item management. Other GLs don't click on open item management. Clear? So here you want to click on open item management, short key 001, create bank in trust app. Here you can take G001, everyone. Here you can take G001 in your system, but I am taking this one, general, okay? 01, YB something 01 I am taking. In your system, you can take G001, press enter and save. I am repeating one second, my dear students, concentrate here. Commission payable comes under balance sheet. Balance sheet comes under, sorry, commission payable comes under current liability. Current liability comes under balance sheet. This balance sheet belongs to this company code. And this is the GL reflecting from accounts group. So commission payable become a zero in the future. It can be controlled by the outstanding amount. That is the reason we need to click on open item management. And as usual, short key 001 and create bank interest app. Create bank interest app, YB01. I mean, you can take G001 and press enter and save. And my system, some accounts group was deleted, everyone, somebody. That is the reason we created our own accounts group action. Click on here, save and back. Click on here, save and back. Understood, everyone? Yes, no? Yes. The next one. Next one I want to create here 160001 not required to create one more cash account one more cash account <clears throat> everyone concentrated everyone one more cash account so cash account comes under cash account comes under everyone under balance under here we created separate group everyone for cash and bank, we created separate group actually. Separate group, double two, double zero, double zero, double two, double nine, double nine. We created separate group actually. Double two, double zero, double zero, double two, double nine, double nine. Okay. So I can take double two, double zero, double zero. Here you can take double two, Double zero, double zero, and then click on here create. And here you can take cash. Either you can take cash account. Either you can take cash account. Otherwise, cash comes under balance sheet, everyone. Cash comes under balance sheet. Okay. Now here you can take cash and back. And here you can take cash account. cash account there is a specific group is created for the cash in s4 hana i will tell you later why what is the use of that and all during the brs i will tell you banking the separate topic is called for banking that time i will explain you why they are introducing separate uh, ledger for this okay and uh, here you can take cash account so everyone, I'm repeating once again. I'm repeating once again. Here you can take cash account. Cash account comes under cash and bank. Cash and bank comes under balance sheet. This balance sheet you can take. Uh, this is the company code. This balance sheet belongs to this company code. And this is the GL number. Pick from the accounts too. And you click on your control tab. And here, I may want to click on open item management. Yes, no? No, sir. I may want to click on no. no. Answer is no. No, everyone. And simply, you can take short key 001. And uh, here, you can go to create bank interest app. 
you can take g double zero one i'm taking yb zero one relevant to cash flow you must click on relevant to cash flow note it on one note everyone note it on one note relevant to cash flow <laughs> Relevant to cash flow. Note it down, everyone. Uh, during during cash and bank related GL creation. During cash and bank related GL creation. During cash and bank related gl creation cash and bank bank related gl creation we must want to select we must want to select relevant to cash flow relevant to cash flow It is controlled by the cash flow activities. Are you writing everyone? Yes, no? Yes, sir. It is controlled by the cash flow activities. Do one thing, everyone. In case if you want to understand any, any field, click on that field and press F1. Press F1. Find F1. Here it will come. Can you please note it down this uh, example, everyone? Note it down this example. Example. For, can you please note it down this example, everyone? Following accounts are typically defined cash flow activities. Example, bank accounts. Bank account for bank charges. Check clearing account. Clearing incoming payments. So example, note it down this, everyone cash account bank account like that okay example noted down this is the gls you want to click on for relevant to cash flow Done. Done. So now you can tell me, everyone, when you want to select uh, relevant to cash flow during. Tell me, everyone, when you want to select uh, do, uh, relevant to cash flow. Bank account. I will tell you. Okay, that's fine. I will tell you. Simple terminology. During the cash and bank related gl creation during the cash and bank related gl creation you must select relevant to cash flow other than cash and bank related gls you don't click on relevant to cash flow clear and when you want to select open item management open item management comes under when you want to select GL accounts payable and accounts receivable. Whatever GL controlled by the outstanding amount for that GLs, you want to click on open item management. And whatever GL comes under cash or bank, whatever GLs is related to cash or bank, you want to click on relevant to cash flow. So, okay.
click on your save click on your save i'm repeating once again my dear students i'm repeating once again cash account cash account comes under cash and bank cash and bank comes under balance sheet and your uh, uh, company code and gl number control tab here you can take short key 001 don't click on open item management open item management only payable and receivables example okay and create bank interest app g001 relevant to cash flow click on your save and back okay click on your save and back everyone here example double two double zero double zero here you can concentrate here everyone here you can concentrate here listen carefully everyone for the incomes you can concentrate here everyone for income related process income related process first you can post did you noted everyone did you noted this did you noted this yes no sir. no sir please note it down please note it down Please note it down. Then, sir, noted. This is called amount, everyone. Amount, 10,000 amount. everyone concentrated everyone so now i want to post now i want to post income process income related thing if you post invoice for incomes invoice for incomes so what is the process for this invoice receive a bull receive a bull account data to received receive a bull account data to received here you can concentrate here, everyone here what is this expenses account data to payable expenses account data to payable now income will come receive a bull account data to income expenses comes under debit income comes under credit better why here uh, okay let it be you can write here everyone receive a bull account data to income example commission receive a bull account data to commission received received means income received means income uh, take care typing uh, spellings everyone typing mistakes and uh, commission receive a bull receive a bull is controlled by the outstanding amount okay example 20000 and here also 20000 and if you do the payment payment so what is the accounting entry for payment everyone what is the accounting entry vendor account cash data to cash account data to 
commission receivable receivable here you can write 20000 and 20000 20 vendor will come accounts payable not now so here commission receivable commission receivable is debit commission receivable is credit commission receivable is debit so this debit and credit will become nullified it's become zero so what is the final accounting entry cash account data to commission received cash account data to income so this cash gl we already created yes or no this cash gl we already created so not required to create again so what is the gl number for cash everyone double two double zero anyone tell me double two double zero double two double zero double zero double zero so this cash gl we already created so not required to create again so i can ask one question everyone i can ask one question commission receivable is debit and credit will become a zero nullified so, so this commission receivable comes under open item management or not yes sir yes, open, sir. Item yes. open item management yes it is open item management is this comes under relevant to cash flow no commission receivable comes under relevant to cash flow pradeep listen to no class way. don't write anything yes no answer no. is no no, no yes everyone no relevant to cash flow you want to click on only cash and bank related gls okay like that so let's create commission receivable commission receivable comes under current asset did you remember current asset what is the gl number everyone payable liability receivable asset current asset uh, current asset go this one this is the one everyone current asset two five double zero double zero two two five double nine double nine I can take do one thing two five double zero double zero company code jj10 click on your create and here comes under balance sheet and here this is for current asset current asset here you can take commission commission receivable account commission receivable account everyone commission receivable comes under current asset commission payable comes under current liability i am repeating once again i am repeating once again everyone payable payable comes under current liability receivable receivable comes under current asset example commission receivable comes under current asset current asset comes under balance sheet so this balance sheet belongs to this company code and this is the gl number and click on your control tab click on your control tab it is controlled by the open item management so you want to click on open item open item management means outstanding amount it will become a zero debit side and credit side and g001 and go to create bank interest tab here you can take g001 press enter and save i'm repeating once again everyone i'm repeating once again for my satisfaction commission receivable comes under current asset current asset comes under balance sheet this balance sheet belongs to this company code and this is the gl number from the accounts group and click on your control tab open item management short key 001 create bank interest tab yb01 you can take g001 
press enter and see what is that two five double zero double zero example here two five double zero double zero gl number everyone commission receivable next make the commission received everyone commission paid comes under expenses commission paid comes under expenses commission received comes under anyone income income, income. so i am repeating once again for non commerce students commission paid comes under expenses commission received comes under income for income what is the gl number range we created for income what is the gl number range we created income uh, income 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 here here income we double we double zero we do double zero double zero like that this is the one we do double zero double zero like that for income we created okay so everyone concentrated everyone now i am creating Three two double zero double zero and company code JJ one zero. Click on here create and here take take GL account type. You can take primary cost and revenue and here you can take current uh, income 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 income. Where is that or other incomes like that? It will show. other incomes and here you can take commission received commission received not receivable it is an a received so everyone commission received comes under income income comes under profit and loss account profit and loss account means cost and revenue Profit and loss account means cost and revenue. So this profit and loss account comes under company code. And this is the GL number. And click on your control tab. And uh, short key 001. I may want to click on open item management. No. Yes, no? No, no sir. No. And create bank interest tab. And here you can take revenue. Here you can take G0029, I believe. In your system, you can take G0029. Um, here, revenue account you can take. G029, you can take. Revenue. Okay. Press enter and save. Paid expenses. So, here you forgot this, everyone. You must select this one, everyone. Cost element category. I'm I'm explaining everyone now. Cost element category. Primary cost and revenue. Here yeah, revenue. Revenue. Press enter and save. Everyone, I'm repeating once again. I'm repeating once again. Listen careful. Commission received. Commission received comes under income. Income comes under profit and loss account. Profit and loss account means primary cost and revenue. And this profit and loss account com comes under this company code. And this is the GL comes under uh, accounts group. This is the GL will reflected from accounts group. And go to control tab. Go to control tab. Here you can take g001 g001 and cost element category 11 11 means income 11 means income or revenue and go to create bank interest tab here you can take g029 in your system that is called revenue account revenue account press enter and say everyone here you people want to understand everyone <laughs> Are able to hear my voice clearly? Yes, no? Yes, sir. 
yes for example for example everyone listen careful especially gl account type especially gl account type in case balance sheet account directly you can select balance sheet balance sheet account directly you can select balance sheet profit and loss account all incomes and expenses all in liabilities liabilities and asset comes under profit and sorry everyone concentrate here liabilities and asset comes under balance sheet everyone concentrate here liabilities and assets comes under balance sheet non commerce students non commerce students concentrate here listen carefully liabilities and assets comes under balance sheet expenses and incomes expenses and incomes comes under profit and loss account profit and loss account means either you can select cost and revenue either you can select expenses and incomes for example for example everyone if i select primary cost and revenue what happened whatever gl you are selecting primary cost and revenue that gl balances will update fi and as well as co and even for example everyone did you remember yesterday class did you remember yesterday class everyone if you post any accounting entry if you post any accounting entry from expenses and income will update fi and as well as co fi and as well as co primary cost that is the reason here you want to select primary cost and revenue if you select primary cost and revenue in the control tab it will ask here category in the control tab it will ask category it will ask category now i will tell you one thing everyone now i will tell you one thing for example guys concentrate here for example i am delight consultant i am delight consultant i am delight consultant consultant we are implementing jj group of company jj group of company what is this jj group of company jj group of company is our client so now our client is requesting now our client is requesting send email to you hey my dear punnam venkat yes you are saying all expenses and incomes will update fi and as well as co but my target is i can give you one expenses it is want to reflect only in fi i will tell you one income it is want to reflect only in fi i don't want to reflect in co then what you will do guys do you got my point do you got my point here if you select primary cost and revenue if you select primary cost and revenue and here if you select the category here if you select the category cost element category means for this gl if you post the accounting entry that gl balances will reflect fi and as well as co but now my client is requesting one thing i can tell you some expenses gls i can tell you some income gls this expenses and this incomes want to reflect only in fi this gl this expenses and incomes don't want to in co then what can i do guys do you got my question now yes no yes sir yes sir yes so if it is want to reflect fi and as well as co 
in case if it is want to reflect if, if you post any accounting entry expenses and incomes in case it is want to reflect fi and as well as co then here you want to select primary cost and revenue and here you can select category here you can select category everyone in case in case any gl any expenses gl and income gl i am repeating one second any expenses gl and income gl want to reflect only in fi any expenses gl and income gl want to reflect only in fi for that gls you want to select here everyone here for that gl you want to select non operating expenses and incomes non operating expenses and income if you select non operating expenses and income in the control tab it won't ask category no category here no category for example here here if you select primary cost and revenue primary cost and revenue go to control tab here it will ask category now come down so here it will ask category here it will ask category maybe maybe cost and maybe revenue so now it is ask category for example if you go to here if you select non operating expenses and incomes non operating expenses and income it will reflected only in f5 so here it don't want us category come down come down here there is a no category update no category update if you select uh, primary cost and revenue category will update category will update so what you people want to understand here what you people want to understand here non operating expenses and incomes primary cost and revenue these two categories related to profit and loss account these two categories comes under profit and loss account these two categories is called profit and loss account if you select non operating expenses and income any gl i am repeating once again any gl if you select non operating expenses and income that gl balances will reflect only in f5 any gl if you select primary cost and revenue that gl balance will update f5 and as well as co and even if you select balance sheet even if you select balance sheet so balance sheet account assets and liability will update f5 and co or only in f5 only f5 everyone only in f5 if you select balance sheet also only in f5 assets and liability won't update in co only profit and loss account expenses and incomes only update f5 and co that to whatever expenses and incomes you select primary cost and revenue that expenses and incomes only updated in f5 and co even if you select non operating and expenses and income it won't go to co it will reflected only in f5 clear clear so far understood what i am telling yes sir. no okay yes sir any questions questions everyone for these two things non operating expenses and income primary cost and revenue no questions Click on yes, save. So everyone, concentrate here. One more also there here. One more also there. Uh, here. Here, balance it and uh, non operating are able to hear my voice everyone yes no yes sir yes sir yes no 
here balance sheet non operating expenses and income primary cost and revenue then one more is there one more is called secondary cost secondary cost element is purely for the co not required now it is purely for the co one second everyone Basically, I'm not feeling well. So here it is called purely for the CO everyone. That time I will explain. And one more is called cash account. During the bank related things, that time we will discuss. Meanwhile, you can select cash account also comes under balance sheet. Now you can select the balance sheet. If you create any cash and bank related GL, now you can select balance sheet account. Meanwhile, this why this cash I will tell you later. Okay. Now you can select uh, balance sheet. Any any cash and bank related GLs comes under balance sheet. Why separate cash category? I will tell you later. Click on here, save and back. One second. Uh, did you write everyone? Did you note this? Did you note it? Yes, no? Did you note it? Yes, no? No, no, Venkat. No, Please, no, no. Please note it down. Can you please note it on this also, everyone? GL Master Data Creation. Create GL Master FS00. Change GL Master FS00. Display changes of GL Master FS04. Block and unblock FS double J. Please note it down here. Done, sir. So everyone, example, uh, create GL and uh, 
you create fs00 then how to change the gl how to change the gl note it on one note everyone note it on one note note it on one note everyone for your understanding purpose note it on one note before document entry posting before document entry posting before document entry posting system allowed to change system allowed to change all master data fields all master data fields put comma put comma once if you post document entry once if you post document entry system cannot allow system cannot allow to change all the fields all the fields of master data next line noted down put the star and noted down next line Next line noted on, put the star and noted on. Text related fields, text, text related fields. System allow to change. System allow to change. Before document entry, posting. Even after document entry posting also. before document entry posting even after document entry posting also done noted sir yes sir done can yes sir. Read, sir can anyone please read Yes, before document entry posting, system allowed to change. Slow, slow, slowly, slowly, sir. Other people want to understand. With loud voice. Speak. One second, you can read. Before document entry posting, system allowed to change all master data fields. Once if you post document entry, system cannot allow to change all the fields of master data. Next. <laughs> text related fields, system allowed to change before document entry posting, even after document entry. Document entry posting also. Posting. Here, everyone, here you can catch one point. We selected open item management, field status group, and uh, short key. Different, different fields we selected. Na? Different, different fields we are going to select it. Before document entry posting, you can change any field. Once if you post accounting entry, System cannot allow to change the, all the fields. 
only text related fields name name and text text related fields you can change after accounting entry posting or before accounting entry posting whenever you want clear clear so far this did you got this point yes no yes sir yes yes, yes <clears throat> so my dear students concentrate here in case if you want to change any gl so what is the t code go to slash and go back fs double zero and here you can give gl number and uh, company code press enter and if you click on here this one is create and this one is called display display for example here i can enter gl number double four double zero double zero company code jj one double one click on your display it's called commission paid. It is called display. And this is called change. This is called create. Click on your change. And here you can write anything. You can change example. Uh, commission. Example. Commission paid account. Then click on your save. I changed some text related thing. And one more field, one more uh, is one called. And display changes. What is the T code? FS04. FS04. Do one thing, everyone. Either you can go to FS04. FS press enter. Give it here that GL number company code press enter and click on here you can observe everyone here you can observe previously this is the company code and uh, old information coming comm paid new information comm issi on paid i changed something old in old value and new value Old value and new value can actually. This is the company code. And this is the language English. This is the GL number. Understood everyone? Yes, no? When select this, click on your details here. Here you can see all the details. Old value. This is the old value. This is the new value. And uh, this is the chart of accounts. GL account, who changed, what time they changed, what date they changed, everything will come. Okay. So how I can how I can see this? How I can see this everyone? Go to go to FS04, give it your GL number and company code, press enter, and here it will come on your details more value will come this is one way to verify otherwise do one thing otherwise do one thing everyone a though. there is a, another way go to fs double zero and give it here this gl number and company code click on your details here you can concentrate here everyone here you can concentrate here one more way to analyze this go to information Go to information, click on your change document. Here also you can see old value and new value. Select this, click on your details. Got it my point everyone? Either you can go to FS04. Otherwise, otherwise you can come to information tab. Here you can see change document, who changed, what changed, when changed, all the things will come. Clear? Clear so far? Yes, no, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next one. How to block the GL? How to block and unblock? How to block and unblock? Okay. Very simple, everyone. Same T code in FS00. 
give it your GL number and company code. Give it your GL number and company code. Click on your display and go to GL. Click on your block and unblock here. Here, block, and you can add this tick mark area. Blocked for posting and save. Even how to unblock? Go to GL account. Go to GL account. I mean, give it your click on your block. Remove this tick mark, unblock, and save. Okay, block and unblock. So, next class, we'll see the postings, everyone. Next class, we'll see the postings. Okay, everyone, uh, Monday to Friday. Can I take tomorrow class? Last week, I gave one all day, everyone, Monday to Friday in between. Can I take tomorrow class? Yes, no, or do you want to practice? As your wish, I am interested to take the class. As your wish, if you are interested, I can. So take Monday. It. Monday, yeah. Huh? Other people, yes, no. Yes, they gave me time for practice. Huh? Monday. We continue on Monday. Yes, sir. Monday, yeah. Yeah, Monday for it. Monday, okay. Take Saturday, Sunday holiday. Please practice, and we'll meet on Monday to postings. Okay. No, okay, sir. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.